They say that for kids my age, everything we need to know is just a click away. We can easily find information on every language, sound, color, environment, our DNA, and even on outer space. Everyone knows what we like and where we spend our time. And in the near future, this will come in handy. As soon as we enter a restaurant, the waiter will serve our favorite dish without us having to say a word. We will no longer have to look for a friend's birthday present. The store will have already sent his favorite thing on our behalf. This means no more surprises in life. We can kiss our intuitive decision-making goodbye. You know, all the stuff that makes us human. Scary, isn't it? We should take a moment to grasp the magnitude of what we're talking about, the massive volume of data collected globally. How big is big data? The bulk of global digital information doubles itself every two years. If we equate the amount of information Google gathered in 2007 to the size of the state of Israel, then by 2017, it has accumulated information equal to the size of France. By 2035, it will have collected information larger than the Earth. And by 2090, we're talking about unfathomable proportions, sizes bigger than the sun. And this is just Google, who isn't even the biggest data collector in the world. The question that follows is, what do we do with all this data? Are we gathering so much just to save a few minutes looking at a menu at a restaurant? Of course not. Take DNA mapping, for example. We can now research the entire world of fauna and flora without even having to displace animals or plants from their natural habitats. Combining location data with Google search results for words such as cough, fever, and doctor's appointment enables us to track and predict the spread of epidemics faster than any health organization today. Everyone knows that Waze collects and applies its users' data in order to redirect them to faster routes. Combined with artificial intelligence and autonomous vehicles, traffic jams will someday be a thing of the past. And when connected to medical centers and ambulance databases, will also improve emergency reaction times. Patients will arrive at medical facilities only to find that the doctor already knows what's wrong with them and had already sent for a replacement organ to be printed from the 3D printer. Much of the data gathered is stored in ways that weren't designed to communicate or understand one another. I believe that once we succeed in connecting these bodies of data, we will create insights and meanings that today seem magical. For instance, a blind man whose brain will be connected to a computer will be able to see his surroundings thanks to the linking of location information, weather data, colors, sounds, and cross-references with databases connected to sensors located around him. Moreover, he'll be able to see any other location on Earth with much greater precision than a seeing person unaided by this big data. I believe that some of these connections will happen automatically with AI, but the more creative connections will be devised by humans. Not only will the things that make us human, surprise, spontaneity, creative spark, not disappear, they will become an even greater asset, the secret ingredient that will take humankind one step forward. If I compare this information to a puzzle, then the initial connections are similar to putting the individual pieces together. In the near future, we'll complete the whole puzzle. 70 years from now, when we look at the same puzzle, we'll see new dimensions of possibility that we haven't even encountered yet. Exciting, isn't it? 